Well, I know I sounded a little self-congratulatory yesterday, but let me just keep on on that thing. This was one of the best mornings I've had on trail so far. Tents not wet. I was warm and dry. I did sleep a little bit later than usual. Last night I was awake for a couple of hours. Couldn't figure out why. I was comfortable. Uh, couldn't think of anything. Drank water. So I finally went ahead and ate the lunch that I had set aside for today. And then I fell right back to sleep like a baby. So I'm not worried. Only eight miles to today's destination. And it's a warm sunny morning. Yesterday came from there. Over there I slept. And today going there and I don't know if you can see it on here. I think I can see the trail right there. I'm lucky that the pack feels light. Because I think I pulled a muscle patting myself on the back for finding that campsite. Uh, I also wanted to say I really appreciate the comments I've been getting. From the questions or suggestions that help me make the videos better. Or uh, just information or well wishes. I was really expecting a lot of hate. And I just want to say thank you for beating expectations, Internet. Just realized I'm at mile 299.9 so hopefully there's a 300 mile marker somewhere this stream looks so much better than creek water Just kind of cool. Coming from that way, and I just thought this was interesting. I don't think they're marked on the map, but there are flat spots where a person that wanted to camp could. Going that way. Came from that way. I'm gonna get these and I'll see what my count comes up to. My pockets have been full of balloons. Alright, there's eight. That brings me up to ten balloons. There's the big area where, again, where people don't camp. There's benches where I could have taken a break, but I already took a break while I was collecting balloons. Balloons are awesome. People like balloons, but don't release balloons. If you get a balloon for a kid, tie it to their hand. If the kid releases a balloon, take away Christmas or their birthday, first and second offense. If they keep releasing balloons, maybe think about putting them up for adoption. I'm going that way.
came from that way, sat there, and going over a bridge. This is on the map as a seasonal stream. Sorry for getting tired of these shots. I think it's cool and I want to make sure I can remember this. Came from up there. I'm going down that way. There's Deep Creek. And I'm about two miles from where I'm going to stop for today. It's about 12.30. So just me. Because that creek seemed to be getting darker and darker. I'm going to have to drink that. There's the hot spring. And of course there's a bunch of people there. Hopefully it's not too crowded. I was kind of planning on spending some time here. In 2017, whenever I came by here, uh, word was it was just trashed out. Uh, needles, fecal matter, and it looks pretty clean down here now. And what the other hikers have told me is that the biggest problem are the squirrels will chew into your bag. He thinks he's slick. He's trying to get my bag. Oh, now he's trying to get my lunch. When the water is down, that's actually like the main pool can fit, I've been told like 10, 12 people, fed by this hot spring. But obviously it's cold right now. But I might come and do laundry in this little one right here. So if I didn't make it clear earlier, I decided to, I guess Nero, I'm going to stay here. Sat in the hot spring for a little while. Jumped in the creek once. It's very deep and very cold. I did it once. But it's going to be my day. I've managed to keep the squirrels out of my bag, but it wasn't easy. So it's a quarter after seven. Law hackers shown up. They all seem to be really cool. And this is the hot spring. It took me a little while to get footage because this is how long it took to get it without naked people. I had originally planned to zero here, but I just can't do it. But it was a good day yesterday, and I plan to have a good day today. Coming from over there. Gonna go over there. I'm going to have to cross Deep Creek at some point today. 
without a bridge. Looks kind of scuzzy. Heading that way. Came down from up there. This is the Mojave River Forks Dam. Some combination of those words. All right, I'm getting ready. Cross Deep Creek for the last time, then I'm done with this stream. I know the water's cold, but it doesn't look like it'll be too deep. Over there, the water's now flowing that way. Because that's the west fork of the Mojave River. Deep Creek was flowing the other way and it went under the dam. And I'm getting pretty close to the highway. And I'm going to go get a deli sandwich. I am at Highway 173. I'm going to call the Joshua Inn. They say they'll come and pick you up. And I'm going to get on the outside of the deli sandwich. We got a ride. This is the Joshua Inn. And they're not actually open yet, but they said they might go ahead and fix us up. And this is a camping area. And I think I'm going to call it a day. And Mr. Respawn is here too. He enjoyed the Deep Creek Crossing also. Well, I slept great last night and then they had coffee for us over in the back of the place so pretty great trying to pack up get a ride here in a little bit and get on the trail 10 o'clock just got a ride back to the trail pack feels light and the legs feel strong I'm not sure exactly where I'm going but I'm going that way it's going to be a warm day, but that's all right. It's better than snow. I'm pretty sure that's the trail going up there. I can handle a little bit of uphill. Came from over there. It's a warm day. Gonna go over there. Come on, do something. Might end up with wet feet. I think they'll dry fast today. I was able to do it. Dry feet. Came down through there. And this has kind of been the way the trail's been today. And go over there.
I guess, like that. That's the spillway for Silverwood Lake. And I'm doing a half mile road walk. that way I'm gonna hike along or in view of Silverwood Lake for a little ways I just entered a five mile stretch where you're not allowed to disperse camp and they want you to pay for a campsite and all this go off trail so it is quarter after four I've done 11 miles so my plan is to just do five more miles. Pretty area though. Came around, round from over there. I'm gonna be continuing on. Round that bend over there. Going that way. Almost done with the lake. It's almost six o'clock. And I'll be out of the no camping zone when I get over to that road over there about a mile and a quarter. According to what I saw about where camping is and is not allowed, I've got about one more mile left and it's a quarter till seven. This is where I plan to stay on Saturday, but it is Thursday and that's not a full day's hike. So I might have a plan. This would be a nice spot. Picnic table, fire ring, but pretty sure they don't want me to stay here. I guess I'm free to camp wherever I want now. Came from over there, and there's a stream running through here, so there's probably going to be some condensation in the morning. But I'm going to drop my pack and look around. So I bet I can find a nice place to camp. So I didn't notice that these spots were here. First I walked quite a ways up there and saw a spot that I liked better. But it still has grass and everything on it. So I think this will have less impact. I'm not going to kill any grass or anything. So I'm just going to sleep here. It was a little damp last night, but not bad. I slept well. I had uh, hoped to sleep late today because I don't have many miles left to Cajon Pass. I've got 12 miles left. Uh, I had planned to do a short day yesterday, and I ended up doing 16. So my reservation is for tomorrow. And even if they let me move it, I don't want to pay for the hotel room just to get in there late at night, not have time to do everything. Uh, sleeping in didn't work because all the birds wanted to let me know as soon as the sun was up. So, ready to get going. That's where I camped last night. And I've gone almost two miles various ways around there. And I'm going to be heading up around over there. See that train? About 10 more miles. I'll be to Cajon Pass where I will cross under those tracks. Although that probably won't be for a day or two.
leaving that valley over there. I'm gonna find a new one over there. Just did a video over there. Getting ready to go along that little ridge. And then over there. Rebecca, I need you to look away. Because I just walked up this guy here, I might have even stepped on him. And he gave me pretty good startle. I'm going to go up there. And Cajon Pass somewhere down there. Gonna go down that way. I guess I'm gonna switch back. This is pretty cool. I get you a better view when I don't get closer to the edge. This is Crowder Canyon, and I'm about a half mile from the pass. It's about 215.